guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, an absolute favourite video of mine to watch and to film and it is of course a home bargains haul, biggest home bargains haul I've ever done because they have now introduced fashion, yes? So Home Bargains is one of my all time favourites of all the Home Bargain stores and now that they've introduced homeware, loungewear, clothing, I was suckered in. I brought so many things to share with you but also of course loads of homeware bits as well. I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of things to get through. However, some of the items I am actually including within a White Company Dupes Spring Edition video. So I'll make sure that video is already live. So if you missed it and want to check it out, I will leave a link to it. So you can see some more items that Home Bargains do. And in particular, items that are dupes for the White Company. So yes, if you missed that, I'll leave it linked below. And then today I'm gonna to be sharing everything else with you that I did get from Home Bargains. But before I do, I just want to firstly thank my Vitamins for Break Honey sponsoring today's video. I do actually have a couple of items to share with you that they have new in and that I think would be great for Easter coming up, great Easter gift ideas, treat from yourself to yourself. This beautifully packaged Easter egg. So this is the beauty egg. And then I also have to share with you the beauty box, which is actually a subscription that you can sign up to. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can click through and shop these items yourself. I did want to mention I also have a discount code. You get 55% off the website, but you also get 15% off these limited edition beauty Easter eggs. Ooh, it is jam packed full of goodness. The first one is these hair, skin, and nails gummies. So these include zinc and vitamin C in as well to help support your hair, skin, and nails. You get 60 gummies in here. It also has selenium in. They're blueberry flavored. They have these beauty collagen powder sachets, the strawberry flavored one here. And then also in there is the orange flavor. Some beauty hot chocolate sachets. Now, I've actually ordered more of these myself because I love them so much. And then last thing in here, so yummy, the Beauty Bites. I also have the Energy Bites, which has protein in them. I think they're peanut butter flavored. These ones are actually salted caramel almond flavored. You get 6.4 grams of protein in each one. Enriched with added collagen, hyaluronic acid, and retinol in there. If you're interested in signing up to the Beauty subscription box, you get a month's supply within here, which for me, I think will encourage me to complete my vitamin taking. In this subscription, you get, again, the hair, skin, and nails gummies. You also get the coconut and collagen vitamins. And then lastly, the hyaluronic acid. So with summer approaching and you wanting to maybe improve the condition of your hair, skin, and nails, definitely recommend checking out those products in particular. Thank you so much for my vitamins for sponsoring this part of today's video. And without further ado, let's get into the home bargains haul. Do I start with fashion? I think I probably should, seeing as though it's new in. Okay, so the first set that I picked up, this loungewear set is a joggers and hoodie combo. I picked up the bottoms in a 10 to 12. These were six pounds. They actually don't look that high waisted. Cuffed joggers in this beautiful kind of beige mull color um, comes with a matching hoodie. And I did size up in the hoodie as I always tend to with hoodies and sweatshirts. So 14 to 16, I got this one in. Now this feels great quality. So even if the joggers aren't for me in terms of I like things high waisted and if they're not high waisted enough, I would definitely keep this hoodie. I absolutely love it. It's so soft and quite thick as well. It feels really, really great quality. This one, I actually saw someone wear this on Instagram and it actually comes as a set. So the hangers are joined and it's a kind of like t-shirt jogger combo. So good for transitioning into spring, nice color as well with it being like a warm brownie kind of nude. So this is the top. The actual set is 12 pounds. The joggers look like so. These definitely do look more high-waisted. Again, in a 10, drawstring waist, which is actually a drawstring waist that you can cinch in. Really nice set for just 12 pounds. They do have jeans, so I picked myself up, well I'd say they're more jeggings actually. I picked myself up the black 
pair for just 10 pounds nice and stretchy as well super super stretchy so i feel like these are going to be really comfortable because let's face it i feel like we're all going to need a transition back into jeans after the past year this top i actually got to go with it and when i got to the checkout i even thought should that be part of a set because it was 14 pounds just for the top so mm, i don't know if it's worth keeping for 14 pounds really considering the price of everything else i wonder why this is 14 pounds i mean it has an added element this top of the padded shoulder which was very much a big trend last year so in a 12 to 14 i sized up in this one so that it's a slightly more loose or relaxed fit that i can tuck into jeans and then the last of the sets that i got are these so this is like a i'm going to show you a bit closer up so you can see the material it's like a ribbed super soft brushed cotton pocketed cuffed high waist jogger high waist i'd i'd say this is probably high waist in a 10 to 12 and again it has that drawstring oh no it doesn't have a drawstring this one this is a fake drawstring why do they do that and then the matching top to go with it i did pick up in a 12 to 14 the top was seven pounds the bottoms were seven as well so 14 for the set and then they do have um some of these socks in the sportswear section which i wanted to pick up now that i'm starting to wear trainers more i like these kind of invisible footsie style socks okay then we have this new bamboo section and it reminded me of the wellness section that primark do in that it's kind of duping the white company this bamboo range sustainably sourced products all very much in keeping with white and brown in color so very neutral and aesthetically pleasing for me so they have a range of towels available i did pick up the hand towel which we needed one for our downstairs loo i did also pick up one of these body puff things for the bathroom and then i also picked up this which is a soap bag so it's made from rami i don't actually know what that material is it comes with a little wooden drawstring closure just super useful no matter what for even if this was for little dog treats to take out on a walk with barney picked up two of them because i think they're gonna be really handy also picked up a facial massager made with bamboo yet again these um well the jade rollers i love i find them so soothing when you do your serums and your skincare to use that over the top really massage especially along my head any tension out so i thought i would try this one i've never tried one with this kind of texture to it before and then i also picked up this set of three reusable vegetable bags for in the kitchen in here you get two small and one large vegetable with drawstring kind of like mesh bags just for storage in your kitchen super handy and i love the look of them as well and then last but not least from this bamboo range i think this is the last thing that i got this eco-friendly 24 pack reusable cutlery set this will be great for when we're starting to have outdoor barbecues and things as the weather warms up literally we are those people that as soon as the sun comes out we're like let's get in the garden and have a barbecue even if we're sat in a coat still so yeah i think they these will come in handy for that just have a little coffee break okay where should i go to next i'll go to some kind of home decor eastery bits that they had in cute how adorable are these little wooden rabbits i actually picked up two they had these two different shapes so i thought they'd look cute kind of side by side they've got these little jute ribbon tie things around their neck then i got this for <laughs> the birds this food for the birds bird feed storage container it actually comes with a little scoop as well which is so cute it is lidded i thought this could live just in like our pantry or outdoor utility bit section so yeah pick that up i feel like the birds have definitely started to come out and we haven't got anything in our garden and the previous owners used to always look after the birds here so i feel a bit guilty for that because it is still cold i picked up this ultimate winter seed mix which um apparently is high energy and it attracts a wide range of birds including robins sparrows woodpeckers and more so yeah i picked that up to go within there and then i picked up these glasses which i actually saw jordan lipscomb's recent at uh, home bargains haul that she did she bought the tumbler style glasses of these but i went for the kind of shorter ones so nice and expensive looking for i think these are 99p each 
chairs. I think they look so expensive. I'm gonna show you these bits that I got because, I don't know, if any other craftier type people are out there, then maybe you'll appreciate this. I got these three scrapbooks in white. Firstly, the fact that they have these massive scrapbooks in plain white, I was just so happy about because again, these look nice on display. You can just kind of store them away and they're just super neutral and plain and simple and easy. That's what I love. They did have them in brown um, paper and also black, which made the inner pages, I think they were all black as well. So I did opt for the white. I was tempted for the black, but I did opt for the white just because I feel like they're easier to scrapbook on the inside, writing things down and sticking pictures in. Again, these were just a couple of pounds each. And I thought with having three different ones, we could definitely have maybe like a me and tom one our relationship because i always like to keep things like tickets events whatever it is holiday tickets and we could maybe stick them in there and also a barney one to be able to look back throughout his puppy years in a scrapbook i just thought could be quite fun i did pick up in the craft section this double-sided tape 12 meter in length but i did pick up two just in case i need them these are quite good for sticking on photos without the need for glue and then i also like using washi tape to be able to stick photos down just on the corners so to get pretty ones these are so nice um, five different ones in five meter roll lengths and I loved the designs of these ones. They did have different ones. They had more silvery colored ones, pinky colored ones. So they've obviously got like a marble effect, a kind of white and gold polka dot, a glittery gold. And then this one's really pretty. It's just plain and simply has love kind of and scrolled on it and scrolled. Is that a word? and scripted and scrolled, written, like handwritten love, love that. <laughs> and then last but not least, the gold kind of striped design one as well. So I love them. And again, these are so cheap. All these little crafty bits, you can literally pick up masses for five to 10 pounds. Oh, another homeware item that I got is this Grow Your Own Bonsai Tree Set, which is like one of them, if you've never seen a bonsai tree. They're quite unique and I love the look of them. So we'll give this a go. I'll let you guys know how I get on with growing my own bonsai tree, but they had different ones as well. It wasn't just bonsais available. I've got this, which is just super handy. These were so cheap. I think these were about 69p and they had loads of them available. You could label them up. I did just pick up the one for now, or maybe a shampoo, conditioner and body wash in the shower would be quite nice labeled up with a Dymo label printer, which Home Bargain sell as well. So if you remember at Christmas, I was on a bit of a collecting white house village type things, which Home Bargains do actually have one. Um, but I spotted that they do this, which obviously could be nice out all year round. And it is a white ceramic house and it's a tissue box holder. So hence why I got a box of tissues as well. And it just kind of, has the little tissue come out the chimney as if it's smoke. I just really liked that, so I picked that up. I also got this set of antibacterial hand wash and hand lotion, which I thought could go in our kitchen. I love the, um, like again, aesthetic of these, super minimal and simple in design. And the fact that they are anti-back is great. So yeah, just a couple of pounds for these. And how nice do they look? Love that. I'll actually show you what the bottle looks like. It's pretty much as it is in the packet. It doesn't say a scent on it though, so I'm intrigued to see what these will actually smell like. I also got this three set of spice jar set. These were 99p and again, could look great if you've got loads of them, maybe labeled up yourself. And then Jeff Banks, oh my God, their homeware range is just amazing, but they have brought out so many amazing bits at the minute. I can't wait to have this house done. If they continue with their homeware stuff that they're getting in, then I'm in for a treat when this house is renovated and I can actually style it up. But I had to pick up this because I loved it and I didn't want to miss out on it. It's just a plain and simple black metal framed round mirrored tray. So expensive looking white company style yet again. And I just love that. I also got a candle, which I've not seen this style before and it actually smells really nice. It's in lime, basil and mandarin, and it's just a couple of pounds, these ones. So cheaper than the Audi 399 ones. 
Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna try that and see if it actually burns and smells nice, because if it does, then that's a great budget alternative. I picked up these reusable silicone stretchable lids. I picked up some of these from the range in my range haul at 4 99 and loads of you guys were like, go to Home Bargains, they got them for like two pounds. So I picked these ones up anyway, six pack for just a couple of pounds. They always come in handy then, so I picked up another set. This is quite unique. I thought this could go by our front door. It's a little metal rack which you could put maybe some letters in, some mail. Um, you can label them up as well, or you could have this as storage with what they've got um, photos in. I've got quite a few cleaning products and loads of foodie items which I'll share with you at the end. Um, but I did actually pick up some wax melts as well, so I'll show you these first. The first one, Yankee Candle, is always a fave in wax melts because I think they scent really strong. It's really strongly scented. And this is perfect for in the kitchen, especially at this time of year as we're going into spring. Fresh herbs and lemon zest. I think I'm gonna love the smell of that. And then Air Pure have a range of different scents, which I really liked the sound of, so I just picked them all up. Um, warm apple pie, winter white, ginger spice, and fireside glow. I know they're kind of a bit more wintry themed. I got a couple of beauty bits that I'll just whiz through. Radox shower gel we love. So this is the feel revived one with lemongrass and mandarin. We got, um, we use the Nivea Cool Kick for man deodorant. Me and Tom just share that. I love it. Advanced white whitening toothpaste from Colgate. Another stock up of my fave, which I've been using, Carmex. Really enjoying that. I have one in my bedside drawer that I use every night. So I got one for my handbag and on the go. Then Lee Stafford, I found in Home Bargains. First time I've seen them in there. They had loads of products, but I use dry shampoo all the time. So I thought I would try out this one. It comes with pink clay, apparently. Um, and then Tiger Balm. I've never seen this one before. This is a white ointment so the regular one is like deep heat good for muscle pains and everything this one apparently is good for migraines so if you suffer with headaches i thought this would just be handy to put in the medicine cabinet we do already have a regular tiger balm and then a couple of cleaning products dog friendly pet friendly ones i got some wipes for barney i like to just have them in the car just as and when if we go on a walk or out and about and just need to wipe his paws down um then i have them in the car ready to go then i also found these which little things little things in life like this made me so happy so scrub daddy have brought out a special edition and this is a dog they, the scrub mummy has a cat version but i obviously went for the dog and then this minky also has an anti-back pad with the pet friendly um well the little paw prints on so great because then you know that these are the cloths to use for any pet messes cleaning up with pet products these are the ones that i will go to and that i will use um i also got this which also is for pet lovers spring meadow they also had it in summer meadow scent this is the extra strength vac for fresher sweeter home as you vacuum these little discs i think you just put in your Hoover, I've actually never used these before. Doggy bags, no one really needs to see them. Oh, I got another one of these minky pads because how could I not? They now have the mini minky pads in a little set like this. I just think it's so cute. And then I went for the three for five pounds on the Febreze bathroom air fresheners. I find these really, really good. They really work. So I got a staple, the Cotton Fresh. And then I also went for, oh gosh, <laughs> throwing it around the place. I went for this citrus fresh one, which I think I'm really going to like, and the peony and cedar to try out. Um, apparently, the fact that it's peony, but the cedar, a few of you guys said try it, even though I'm not really into florals. This smells really nice, as does the crocus and bluebell. So I picked this one, this scent up in the Febreze Air Mist. And then I also got this as a floral to try. I've never tried it before, Violet Mimosa. I just thought, going into spring, let's try a new spring scent. I'm not really a fan of the springtime scent. It's okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. So, oh, okay, this is different. Is it? It's quite fruity. Nostalgic, beautiful blend of sweet violet and golden mimosa laid with green citrus notes. Yeah, you can smell that citrus coming through. Um, kind of a hint of palmer violet. 
if you like that scent. And then I got some of the finish for our dishwasher, dishwasher tablets. This is in the limited edition fresh apple. I love it when they do the limited edition fresh apple and then in winter they do the spiced apple. And then this, last but not least for cleaning products, is the Mini Fabulosa. Good to just have on the go this spray and this is in crisp winter air. And then one thing I saw going straight into the shop was this, which I actually that morning of going into the shop had a little pop-up reminder on my dashboard that I needed to top up my washer fluid. So I got this winter screen wash. This was only $1.99 for this huge tub, which is quite good. And then um, a really miscellaneous item before I move on to the food is this, which will be good for my little stockpile, my drawer of cards and wrapping paper so that I'm always stocked up, ready to go. And this is, I think these are about 49p. You get in there two sheets and two tags. And this is like a really pretty lilac -y color with gold and um, little spots. Okay, so many amazing other bits that I can see over there, but I'm saving it for the White Company dupes video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But last but not least, we'll finish on the food bag of food goodies. I'm gonna whiz through these because I feel like food, showing you food can be boring. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have one of these this afternoon. It's a little uh, chocolate flavored on pack of them. This is good for Easter, a little hot chocolate Easter egg, which I think is gonna be so chocolatey. There's a lot of chocolate there. Um, the Starbucks Cafe um, Premium Instant Coffees are so good. Home bargains stop them. So this one's in the Cafe Mocha. And they also have Costa Coffee capsules. So I picked up the Dark and Intense Brazilian blend. I think you get, yeah, you get 10 espresso compatible pods in there. I got these lentil chips. For some reason, I tend to prefer the like lentil or hummus chip options as opposed to regular crisps. Sour cream and onion flavor. Got some Reese's peanut butter eggs, good for Easter. A stock up of my fave before they go out of stock because these are seasonal. White chocolate covered Oreos. Dime caramel latte, sounds like a yummy flavor. The Oreo Crunchy Bites, we love them as well. This I'm excited to try, we love Terry's Chocolate Orange, and this one is the chocolate bar with biscuit bits in it. A pack of digestives, a regular go-to for me with a coffee. Again for Easter, these mini eggs, the Reese's mini eggs, peanut butter flavored chocolate. Yum. Uh, oh, that's really random. A Whisper Instant Hot Chocolate. I think these were like 10p or something ridiculous, so I got one of them to try. And then these, I've never tried the Flips pretzels in cookies and cream. They had peanut butter as well, but I thought I would prefer this. I'm gonna try this flavor first. Totally forgot to include this within the haul, so I just thought I would include it really quickly here. This is actually one of those scratch off maps, and they had them in for 99p. So I just thought that would be like a really nice idea for like maybe a gift. If you've seen them before, it's basically a white map, if you can see, with like a gold scratch off where you can like kind of basically have like a little travel puzzle so all the countries that you've been to maybe as a couple as a family you can scratch them off great maybe like gift ideas so yeah 99p i thought these were a bargain so i hope you guys enjoyed this home bargains haul thank you once again to my vitamins for very kindly working with me on today's video be sure to check out the link in the description box if you want to head over and browse the products on their website thank you once again to you guys for watching today's video hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!